Hi and welcome to Visual Basic Tutorial of a Balloon System. Now I'm going to show you guys how this works. First of all, I'm going to reset and we enter some new value in there. How many amount we want? Okay, we want about maybe four cans of those. And wine, we're going to leave that out. And milk, we prefer milk. All they need to do is to click on total. There we go. And receipt. There. Okay, you can exit if you want. I'm not going to exit. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take you guys straight into Visual Basic Development Environment. I will put one of these together. And just for your information, this is my second channel. And please do subscribe to this channel as well. Thanks for watching. See you in the final tutorial, in the full tutorial. Hi, this is a visual basic billing system tutorial. I'm going to start by clicking on create new. And in here we select visual basic and click on next. Now let's give that a name. I'm going to call it VB underscore billing system. there and let's just click on save click on create there we go all right my development environment is ready the next thing i'm going to do now is i'm going to click on properties and in there i will change the size of my farm to 1386 by let's go for 800 there we go now the first thing I like to do is go straight to the toolbar here and I will then select plane. Got my plane there. You see it is very plain. Let's come in here and change the back color of that plane to powdered blue. Now okay, let's set it for cadet blue. Cadet blue, that's fine. There. There we go. I'm going to grab another plane. Let's just drag this that much. Grab another plane that I'll put inside it, and that is going to be control. Let's change that to control. There. There we go. That's fine. Now let's bring this down. I'm going to copy this because I intend to have another frame right here. Yeah, that's that's fine. Good. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is let me copy one of these again. Just hold onto your control, click and drag, and I'm going to paste this right up here. That's going to be for my title. And I'm also going to need maybe one down here. Let's bring it down. Right down here. And let's change that color. We need to change that to. Yeah, control. Bring it up. We actually need to bring it. Bring up. Yeah. There. I'm just dragging that much. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a label up there, and that label is going to be for my for a title. Let's come down here and grab a label. Where is it? Yeah. There, drop that in there, and that label I'm just going to enter. Billing system or oh, billing, let's call it billing management system. Yeah, that's fine. And I'm going to change the font size to something readable, and maybe even change the font color as well. Yeah, why not? Billing management system, come down here and just change the font. I'm going to make that kid blue. There, done.
let's run it and see how that looks like there we go so I'm gonna exit out this one thing see this very form I'm gonna click on the form make sure it's selected go straight to the property and let's look for start position I'm gonna get that centered there we go and that is done let's come down here we're going to need some buttons here so let's go straight to the properties here and grab some button one button here and this button maybe i should change it change the color of that button as well or leave it the way it is i'm going to change the color why not come in here just change it to cadet blue as well that is the fonts let's change I mean make that black and the let's see the background let's change the background to okay, that blue right and the font let's come in here and just make that a little bit readable maybe come let's set to 436 something like that and i'm just going to copy it across let's say maybe one more okay and this one the last one is going to be for exits so let's go in there and just enter bt and exit and come right down here and enter exit in there there we go now I'm going to double click on that very exit button just double click on it and let's enter our exit lines of code there so I'm going to say dialog result think of dialog results come on dialog result I'm going to call that I quit There we go. I'll come right down here. Oh, that's not C sharp. Let's, I think it's meant to be dim because this is visual basic. Dim. I quit as dialog results. There we go. Right there. Okay, let's come down here. The I quit is going to have the following message. So I'm going to say message message box dot show open up a bracket the first argument in there is going to be confirm if you want to exit if you want to exit or quit if you want to quit okay confirm if you want to quit that's my first argument comma the next argument is going to be the name of my project which is billing management system there so that's the second argument i'm going to enter comma press enter and the next argument is going to be message box buttons the message box button is going to be dot yes or no and the fourth argument is going to be message box icon there dot let's use question there we go those are all my argument that will be inside i quit now i quit is going to compare whatever i have by me using i quit equals dialog result dot yes so if I quit equals dialog results dot yes then we want the application to do something for us application dot exit okay dot exit there we go so that is my exit lines of codes so let's run it to see how that works there we go that that's taken care of no I do not want to
to exit yes i do want to exit now let's come back in here the next thing i want to do now is i'm going to add some labels here and text widgets now let, let's say we add labels first let's add labels first yeah labels and the text widget i think maybe i should use something to do with okay let's grab text text box first see instead of the, the text widget maybe let's get rid of this text widget to make life a little bit easy i'm gonna use label as well come in here but this very label i will convert it to let's say auto size let's make that force i want it to have the appearance of a text box and the border style is going to be white come on man get in there why the border style border color is white border style we make that fix 3d and, and let's get rid of whatever content we have in there scroll right down and just get rid of that get rid of feet and align let's get it aligned center and let me increase the font size of both come in here and just come right down here come right there just increase the font size to something a little bit readable so that is going to be for my items there now i want an item selector so in here let, let's go back in here I need number number up and down yeah put that in there let's increase the font size of that number up and down and let's come right here make that 20 as well so depend on the amount of item that you select then the number up and down will just indicate for us so let's say in here you want something like Let's see a name for that we can call that maybe bread or something so let's enter a name for that I'm just gonna call that bread yeah and now if we look in here what I want to do is whatever amount of bread that you want when you click on this we just want the total in there but bread should have a constant so let's come in here i'm going to declare a variable that i'll call constant for the price of the bread so let's go into our code here and right underneath the public class i'm going to enter constant bread that is the cost of bread one pound 79 there we go so this variable for us to be able to use that very variable i'm going to come in here you see this number up and down the very first one we're just going to leave it as that double click on that and in here i'm going to enter oh let's give this a name this should be lbl i'm going to call it lbl bread lbl bread yeah make the b uppercase and let's be a bit professional this one is going to be n maybe number let's call it number num up okay we we'll just leave it as number hey yeah, number bread that's fine number bread there but she does have some other values in there let's come in and just get rid of all of those Click on that. The, these are uh, those names in there. I don't want them appear everywhere. Okay, come back in here. We have number right now. So go back to my properties, and I will then double click on this number bread there. And when it changes, we then want LBL dot text equals I'm going to get it formatted format to currency open up a bracket and whatever we have inside number bread where is it number bread okay number bread 
we want to multiply that by the variable bread. That's right up there. Okay. Uh, number bread is going to be dot value, dot value. There we go. Now, run. And you guys will see how easy the rest are. Let's see. So, whatever amount, that's for one bread. You see, instantly, the price is given. That's beautiful. I think we need a title here. And the cost, number of uh, item, and item. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to repeat the same thing for the others. So let's just copy. That's two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think that would do. Five would do. So up here, we need some title for them. Come in here, copy this. That's going to be title here. Another one here, and another one here. See that? That's easy. So let's change this to if that is bread let this one be maybe rice okay rice we set it for rice maybe a tin of rice or whatever and in here we can just call up uh, shall we go for beans yeah and in here what else do we have maybe wine red wine something and finally we can just enter we just enter milk in there something like that you guys can always make up yours all right the names of every single component will now be changed let's move this down a little bit now go back in there let's move them down and even this ones need to come down a little bit and we give them a proper name this will be cost of item. Cost of item. And this, the next one will be number of items. And number. Number of item, items. Why this one be items? There, that's fine. All right. So maybe we should even change the color to make it pronounce. I'm gonna change that to cadet blue. There we go. Okay, that's fine. Or maybe leave the color black. Yeah, leave it black. And do that. Let's leave it as black. All right. That is fine. I'm gonna increase the size of these so that I can. It's gonna be here, something like that. I just move this away. And here we want the total of everything. Here, that would be the total. This would be the number of item that's bought in total and here this will be total cost total cost there and that's all there is to it so I will now give them all a name every single one of these this is number bread this one is going to be number rice and so on I'll get back to you guys as soon as that is done. Okay, they all have a name now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these. I want to get them centered. So let's come right down here. A line that will be centered. Good. Maybe we should center this as well. I think that these ones are centered already. Yeah, they are. Okay, and I'm also going to enter default value for all of those list boxes. So let's come right down here. I'm just going to enter zero in there. There. Okay, so now that that is done, let's double click on this very one here. So double click on it, and right there, I'm just going to 
enter ldl as bread dot text and that is equals to i'm going to get it formatted to currency format to currency and that is going to be whatever we have inside number bread dot value there we go now the constant i have a constant in here for the bread so i'm going to call that the constant i need to create more constant for the rest items anyway it's going to be multiplied by bread there so if i run it now and let's see come on yeah there we go and when the price decreases that decreases as well Maybe we should just default that to pound sign as well. I don't know, but that's fine. Okay, now let's come up here. I now need to create the rest constant. The next one is going to be for rice. I have rice, milk, and some on one other one. So let's change this one to rice. And I'm going to change the price of rice to maybe about. Let's say two zero five. Yeah, that's fine. And I have milk. And then let's see what else do I have? I will have wine, beans. I have wine. Then I also have beans. In total, is five. There, those are my constant variables. So the wine we can just make that seven nine nine and the milk maybe let's say zero point the beans let's change the beans to about one one point five eight there those are all my constants in place. As you can see, if you notice, this one is these other ones are grayed out because I haven't used those ones. So now let's go into that of rice. Double click on rice, and in there is exactly the same lines of code. So that's going to be LBL rice, LBL rice dot test. This is a very good tutorial for beginners. So coding is easy and you can just follow it easily so let's say number rise number rise let's see if we can see number rise yeah we do have number rise multiply that by rise there so when we run it this is what you oh let's see what happened there i have to stop that what did I do wrong? Rice. Don't I have a variable called rice? Yes, I do. Dot value. I'm rice dot value. Is that in there? That's fine. So let's run it now. There we go. And let's see that of rice. You see that? Come back down. And down as well there we go yeah that's fine okay let's repeat exactly the same thing for beans wine and milk double click on okay number four so that is for beans lbl beans the text equals format Beans that number beans the value. Let's copy all of that. Paste that in here and put a dot in here. Then multiply that by the variable beans. There, done. Now the next one, let's copy that. Come here for the next one is wine is that in there and change everything here to wine wine and the 
this is one as well. One here. And one here. Sorted. Now, it would be the same thing for milk. For the milk. And I'll copy this and just paste them there and just change the rest to milk. That's milk here. That is it all taken care of. Run. Let's see how that's going to look like. Okay, we can now enter whatever we want in there. Yeah, and wine, milk. So we now need this button to add up everything in here. Add all of this up, add this up. Uh, this might be for receipt and clear exit. Yes, that's good. So let's come back in here, select the button, come right here. That is going to be total. So let's call that txt to a B, btn total. btn total. And this is going to be btn, btn reset. Um, come right here, enter reset there, right down proceed in there and this is going to be exit no reset copy and that is btn btn there we go okay for the reset double click on that and let's reset everything back so number I said number milk dot value equals that. Okay, that should work for all of them anyway. So let's repeat the same thing for the others. Number bins there and number bread paste number wine paste number milk there we go all right that's fine now let's come in here and see these ones let's see if it's gonna work come on now enter some values okay reset that's cool and even this one they all defaulted back to zero so maybe I should just change all of these to pounds that will be the default value in there so select all of these come right down here and just change them to pound dot zero zero for all there that's much better okay now the reset is taken care of. We now need to reset every one of these. So come in here. Um, LBL beans dot text equals where's pound pound zero there. So we repeat the same thing for the others. Copy right down here LDL uh, beans bread okay LDL rice paste LDL let's go for total as well there LDL wine paste LDL milk there paste so that is taken care of. Yeah, we need one more. This very guy here. That should be default back to zero. That's item number or number LBL number of item. There. The text equals there because we just reset. So that is 
all taken care of now let's come in here double click on this very one here let's see I'm gonna copy this anyway and let's do it again come down here double click on beans oh beans is done okay double click on mine oh it's all done yeah that's right it's all taken care of now we need to add up everything so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create let's create an array come up here and I'm just going to declare something yeah right underneath here let's say dim items as array let's go for about nine I can always change or do whatever with that so item the very first item let's go straight to total double click on total where's total double click on total paste that in there so it's the very first array is zero so that would be equals to whatever value we have in here that is for beans i need that of i'm going to need that of beans as well anyway so let's try to arrange them in order that would be for beans and so on we have five of those yeah that's good right so this one is going to be one two three and four now um, I know that of beans is number two there this one is bread where is bread now that's bread grab that of bread bring it down gotcha now the next one is oh rice rice okay beans is number three rice is second one all right move beans down come here that's number rice dot value multiply by rice there and this is going to be for wine number wine dot value multiply by wine then finally we have number milk number milk dot value and multiply by milk there we go now we now need to add up all of these so I'm going to say item item number five equals add this plus this there so this is going to be one two three undo that three and four so we just added all of those up together now. Now we now need to add everything together. This let's let's run it first. I need to see. I just need to check up on something. Okay, we enter value here. I need this to increment so I need the name of that as well so the name of that is what there we go that's good so we'll paste that in there the text equals items 5 there so we're able to get that the total of that so we let's see Okay, we have that. Why do we have point? That's incorrect. Okay, that's not right. So let's come in there. That should have been just 10. Because I'm just, oh, okay. I get it now. <laughs> All right, this is wrong. Okay, this can be used for the total. That's fine. 
use that for the total okay that's going to be for the total why this is just what we add up okay we get that now this is just all of this we're going to get rid of this anyway so i'm going to copy this so there might be two arrays one is going to be local i'm going to use this for total and this total i might as well just format that format a currency there we go now down here i'm going to create a local variable i'm just going to call it q come right down here and get rid of everything here no not everything just this one so that i can get the correct value in there and this is going to be that to be six or i can just create an array in there as well q9 so this is going to be q1 q2 okay yeah come on all right now come right down here ldl number of items dot text equals q5 there and q5 is going to be the total of everything here and one more there so this is zero array is always start from zero one that's two three and four there we go all right that's fine i'm going to run it run let's take it from there okay whatever we enter in here we have one there two that's six ten and then eleven we have 11 there we go that's much better so if we decrease this anything we can also find the total there that's much better add this together that's eight okay all that is left for us to do now is to take care of the receipts all right for the receipts i'm gonna first of all exit out and let's come back in here select this and select this as well let's see if we can even underline those ones come right here and is the underline yeah there is underline yeah grab one of these and just drag it here and we call that receipt let's come right here and look for let's look for which text box where is it which text box there draw that in here there we go and on the rich text box we just need to be able to list all of these and just paste them in there so we double click on reset and we enter okay for the rich text box first of all let, let's give it a name i'm going to come back here just give it a name i'll call it rt reset yeah that's much better okay copy that double click that on the receipt again and come right down here rt receipt dot pen text and the text that i would like you to append will be as follows the very first one is going to be this very one what is it called it has no name it's just called label Seems would have been ideal for us to give it a name that would have been good 
so let's assume I want to give it a name I'm just gonna call it BGA bread bread item or item bread okay let's come in here and say item bread item bread okay I think that's much better all right so grab that and this is number and why this one is just okay oh now go back in here so in here we have item bread dot text and i'm gonna just enter and in here to get a space let's say and space or we can even use a tab right let's try a tab out bb tab then and the next one is going to be number bread dot value yeah then the next one is yeah, let's grab a tab as well that to be for the cost and this is going to be LBL bread dot text so that is my very first one I'm going to say and BB new line where's new line go to new line for me yeah that's fine so let's just try that out and see how that is going to work okay click on receipt First of all, let's enter some value in there. Click on receive. There we go. Okay. But supposing we do have some value inside the receipt before, I can always clear that out anyway. RT receipt dot clear before we enter another value in there. And up here, I need some text on it paste that in there that'll be for the text the very first text is going to be this one so what is the name of that candidate that is 11 grab that go in there this is what number is this if that is 11 this is 12 and 13 so we come right in here 11 label 11 label 13 No, that's 12. And this is going to be label 13. Yeah, this is not a brand new text. There we go. So this should take care of my. Yeah, they should do. That's fine. Now one other thing let's increase the font size of this to something a bit readable so that we can see it maybe about 20 bold yeah run and let's wait for that come on enter some value click press receipt there we go i think 20 is too large all right let's do something about that okay we we'll do some i think it's because these texts are just too large that's why okay all right we'll reduce it let's finish up with the rest anyway now we know what to do come back in here let's grab this that is going to be for rice beans wine and milk now let's change this is rice and here it's gonna be rice as well this is rice this oh what's the name of that guy okay Let's grab a name for that. This one here is going to be for rice, item rice. 
So I'm just going to repeat exactly the same thing for the rest, and that'll be all. I'll be right back. Okay, all done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take care of the appearance by adding extra tab to each of them. So I'm going to just copy one of these. Copy and paste the tab here. Let's find a way to reduce the sizes as you can see. It. And one more here. Copy the same thing for this and let's just speed that up. All right, it's all taken care of now. Let me just reduce the reduce it a little bit. That is it. That's my receipt. Okay. There. So I'm gonna run this and let's enter some values. There we go. Enter whatever in there. So there and click on total we got the total let's check out our receipt there we go look at that that's beautiful reset there when we reset we want to be able to clear all of this as well so let's go back and go into my resets just gonna copy this and paste that right inside reset here that is my reset. So have a good look at the code. This is the code for reset. Very interesting for beginners and even intermediate and advanced learners too. Why not? That is for reset. And here, individual lines of code for each of the number number components and here is the total we should have entered total in here okay let's grab this and just enter total in there that's for total there we go and that's all there is to it and these two then exit and the ver the constant and variable that was that was the array that was declared. Okay, so we'll take it from the top. Have a good look at it. Bring it down. That is for bread. Rice come down here. And this is for total. That's for the total button. And that is for beans, wine, milk, resets, and finally the reset. Let's run it one more time. There we go. So enter how many loaves of bread we want tins of rice or bags of rice tins okay that's beans well let's go for our four bottles of wine and milk there we go total grab a receipt so with that guys i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy it and this is my second channel please do subscribe to this channel and that would be very nice of you guys if you subscribe Thanks for watching and bye for now.